So in this video, we're going to take a look at distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. Let's start by talking about displacement. So displacement is the dis in your placement, or the change in your position, which we use delta x to um, represent. Normally when you see delta x or change in a variable, it's for slope, and you're used to seeing it like this, something like x2 minus x1. Well, in physics, it's more common to write this as xf minus xi for you know, your final position minus your initial position. Um, and what I'm going to do to make things a little bit easier, you have fewer subscripts to write this way, is instead of saying xf and xi, I'm just going to say x and x sub 0. This is pronounced not. It's a little easier to write. It's one less subscript. Um, and it, it kind of is pretty easy to think about which variable means the final variable and which one is the initial x naught, x zero, that's the initial, that's the starting position. Okay, so delta x displacement is the change of position, it's the dis in your placement, as your final minus initial position. Okay, here's an example where dismen, displacement um, is not necessarily the same thing as the distance that you've traveled. You move forward 10 meters, then backwards 12. What is your displacement? What is the distance you traveled? To illustrate this, let's do a number line where our initial position, x0, is 0. You go 10 meters forward, let's say that that's right, and then 12 meters back. Where would your location be here? It would be negative 2 meters, because you're to the left 2 meters from where you started. So your displacement, the change of your position, is negative 2 meters, where negative means to the left. But the distance that you traveled, which we can use d to represent that, uh, is not interested in the fact that you've turned around. It is just taking into account the total raw quantity of length that you've gone through. So that would be 10 plus 12 meters, or 22 meters. So the change of my position is 2 to the left of where I started, but the overall distance that I've traveled is 22 meters. Average velocity is something that depends on displacement. Remember when we put a bar over the variable, it means average. And speed depends on distance. We can say time, but you could write delta t there. So occasionally, velocity and speed are different things. Here's an example. You move forward 10 meters in 2 seconds, then backwards in 12 meters in 2 seconds. So that's the, that's the exact same thing, right? But now we have a time scale. So the change of your position, negative 2. Your distance, 22. But now we have this shared value of time, where it's 2 plus 2, or 4 seconds. You, you do these movements in a total of 4 seconds. OK, well, when I calculate the average velocity, which depends on displacement, I'm going to get negative 2 meters over 4 seconds, which is 1 half, or negative 0.5. That's my average velocity. But the speed is going to be the distance over the time. So that's going to be 22 meters over 4 seconds, which is 5.5 meters a second. So here, the speed is different from the average velocity because speed deals with the amount of distance, the total distance that you've traveled in an amount of time, whereas your average velocity is only interested in the change of your position over a certain amount of time. Okay, so now let's look at an example where the speed uh, and the velocity are almost the same thing. Okay, so here we have new motions. You move left 8 meters in 2 seconds, then continue to move left 10 meters in 2 seconds. So again, total 4 seconds, 2 plus 2. Um, but so now you start here, x0 equals 0, and go left, 8 meters, then right, oh, sorry, you continue left. So left, another, 10 meters, let's pretend that that line's bigger, and your final position is to the left, 8 plus 10, so negative 18. You're 18 to the left of where you started. All right, so our displacement x minus x naught, negative 18 meters minus 0, negative 18. Displacement is negative 18 meters, or to the left, 18 meters. Uh, but the distance traveled is 8 plus 10, so just 
18 meters. Okay, so here we see that the displacement and the distance, they have the same magnitude, is what we would call that, the, the same number. Um, but distance doesn't really need a direction. It's just kind of like a raw amount of length. Um, but the change of position does need that negative because it tells me I'm not 18 in front of, behind, you know, north, south, east, west. It says I'm 18 to the left. So that negative is important. This translates to our equations for velocity and speed, which I'm just going to write this for a second as speed equals distance over time like that. Okay, so my velocity is negative 18 meters over 4 seconds, which I think is, what, 4.5, negative 4.5 meters a second. That's my average velocity. But my speed uses the distance of just that 18 without a negative over 4 seconds, which is 4.5 meters a second. Okay, so notice here um, that speed and velocity are basically the same thing, except that the negative is important for velocity because it tells me that the change in my position over time is to the left. Speed isn't interested in that idea. Speed is just simply how fast are you going? What is the total distance you've traveled over a total amount of time? Um, so sometimes speed and distance, they have the same number, uh, but not necessarily the same direction. And that's because for displacement and velocity, direction is meaningful, but for distance and for speed, it, it is not. Uh, in physics, we actually have a way of categorizing these things. We say that scalars are things that have magnitude, so that would be distance and speed. And vectors are things that have magnitude and direction. So velocity and displacement. To help you kind of keep this straight, just draw a little chart. We'll write scalars and then vectors. Okay, distance is a scalar. Displacement is a vector because it has magnitude and direction. Distance is always positive, but displacement can sometimes be negative, left or positive, right. Um, Velocity, or sorry, speed, is a scalar, because it's always just going to be a number, but average velocity is a vector, because your velocity can be left or right. The magnitude and direction are both meaningful to velocity. So sometimes you'll have a problem, um, and it'll ask you for the magnitude or the velocity, and that just means if it's negative, ignore that negative. Sometimes it'll ask for the speed, and you get a negative number, and you're like, oh my god, well, do, do, I, do I care about the negative number? If it asks for speed, no, you don't care about the negative number. Um, you'll have some multiple choice questions eventually that test your knowledge of this, but otherwise, it's just sort of good to know for the time being. Congratulations, you are done with this video.